Hi guys, Flightscar here. Today we are going to look into static collections which are groups of static items and we are going to add them into workshop mode. So we are in the CK where we already have our mod open and what I'm going to do is collect a bunch of objects together and combine them into one and we can drop that into build mode using the constructible objects so to start we're just gonna come down into the cell view and we're gonna right click this AAA markers and we're gonna click duplicate cell and we're gonna rename this with our prefix FCM test cell 01 and just click off there and we're going to load this up into the render window and zoom out a bit with the scroll wheel and select it all and just press delete and our cell is ready to accept some objects so what I'm going to do so I'm going to take the table that we made in lesson 1 I'm going to drag that on and I'm going to add some other items uh, I'm going to add a couple of posts um, I, we might have to change the filter here because um, I know it's a data post that I'm after So, and if you right click you can preview them to see what they look like or you can just drag them straight on and move them around uh, I'm just gonna just place the items that I want in first and I'll position them shortly right, so I've got some posts and um, I'm gonna put down some pl plywood This is what happens when you end up not having a filter in. Uh, it kind of freezes for a moment, but it's nothing too bad to worry about. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take a bit of plyboard. No, we don't want that one. We want this one, which is just a different coloured one. Okay, so what we can do now is we can position it where we want and what we can do is using the Z key we can move it up and down X key you can move it on the X axis and the C key on the Y axis um, what we want to do is kind of move it back in position um, also you can move the screen around like the camera around using shift or if you click the middle mouse button you can move around in the cell view as well uh, in the render window so I'm just trying to get a better view of this so what I'm going to do is position that there and I'm going to take these and just roughly position them where I want um, I think that's probably not too bad and drop them down oh. and I, I kind of level with the, oh well they're really not level with the bottom not, not too bad I don't think um, so kind of got them in a position we want but we click on here we can like if we double click the item we can bring up this menu which is the preferences and we can position it and rotate it uh, quite a lot with different steps of precision so if you change that to a one it would go up and down one it's just an easy way of getting things where you want them um, I'm just gonna move this one the same that one's already in the right place and that 
that looks really low down, but apparently it's fine. Right, so we've got our board here. If I press the W, I can bring up a rotation widget. Press W again to get rid of it, and just skip back and forward on that. And I'm gonna kind of prop it up. If I, there we go. Yep, that'll be fine. And press W just to get back into the position. Move it around a bit. So we'll have to use the precision movements on this one. So it's kind of a little bit too high. And uh, it's not, it's fine on that bit. So if I just double click. <coughs> lower the Z movement to 2 and that should do it and we've kind of got like a, a board table and right so we kind of have a, this board here that we can now do something with so that say this is what we wanted our item to look like we can just go back into the filter window and we need a item called the static collection pivot dummy so if I just type in static collection pivot dummy this one here and just kind of drag that in to the render window and what this does is it sets the points of where you actually want your item to be like moved um, how it will land like in build mode and things like that so if I put this like right at the bottom this would be where it touches the ground like the very center here and it will also rotate around this axis as well and next step is we well, probably want to actually move that so it's like kind of in the middle of the table the next step is just select all of the pieces that you've got and then the only thing we need to do is make sure that this pivot uh, is the last item we select so if I hold control and click we can see that it's no longer selected here and if we press control again and then click that's now the last item that we selected if we then right click with everything selected and choose make static collection give it a name fcm underscore board table one and since this is a static collection I like to end it with underscore skull for static collection just click OK we can leave this uh, box blank and that's our item complete so this now is a single item and we don't actually have access to those items anymore but we can right click and fragment it if we wanted to make changes to it and then we just recreate the static collection from there alright and now the next step is we want to find our item in the statics menu so we have it here FCM board table 01 skull right click and click on edit and this folder well this file path is to a, a NIF file for this object but by default this doesn't actually exist in the file system so we click recreate NIF from data and we 
get a pop-up saying that it's done and that's all we need to do in here um, and we need a, another uh, program for this it's called NIFSCOP um, I believe it's available on GitHub or it might come with uh, the game inside the tools folder so I've got a I've got two here but if I double click this since I've got NIFSCOPE already uh, set we can see our board table in NIFSCOPE and what we're going to do is just save that and it will fix any little errors with it um, make sure this auto sanitize before save but, uh, menu option is ticked and that will bring up a little menu on the when I click save and it, uh, one or more blocks have their names san sanitized and it just tells you what they've done and just click OK and that's all we need for NIFSCOPE right so um, what we can do now is if we go back into that edit we can take the the model from this just click cancel um, and create a new static and we call it FCM board table 01 give it a name board table and we can click edit on the model and just paste in that um, that file path and press OK and for the most part that is all done now so we've got board table 01 we've got a static collection as well and the last remaining bit is the constructible item and just for sake of ease I'm going to take the one that I previously created and click duplicate and just change the name and we'll just call it uh, FCMCO board table 01 and since I've already duplicated it I don't want to create a new object so I'll click no and it's not being used by any uh, references so I'll just click yes and then double click the constructible object and wait for the window to pop up and we're gonna leave it in the special tab I'm gonna make it a little more expensive to make and just give it a description uh, posts board and table and the last bit that we want to do is update the created item which it should just be one up FCM board table 01 click OK and then we just have to save the item and uh, save the mod and that's the majority of that done so I'm going to jump in game and we're going to hunt it down in the menus so we're in game now I'm going to just jump into build mode and we're going to go into the special tab and if we scroll across there we go, our board table in all of its glory and we can just add about as many things to it as we want so we'll just place that down there we go and that's it for this video guys uh, I'll catch you in the next one, thanks, bye